your favorite food? Um, hot fudge sundaes. Hot fudge sundaes? Like, how much do you like hot fudge sundaes? A lot. <laughs> do you like them a lot? How would it be if you came home tonight and you had a hot fudge sundae just waiting? That was pretty exciting. What about if you came home tomorrow and you had a hot fudge sundae waiting for you? <laughs> That's life. <laughs> Colby, what's your favorite food? I like Dominican food. Dominican food? Like what thing? If you could choose one thing from Dominican food, what would it be? Definitely chicken. The chicken? So if you could eat Dominican chicken tonight for dinner, and tomorrow night for dinner, and the night after that, for a whole month straight? Yep. And so at least you could eat... You could eat... (laughs) You could eat chocolate sundae for a month straight. Oh, yeah. And Dominican chicken, Colby? Now what about a whole year of Dominican chicken? I don't know. What do you think would start, how would that be after a while? Bland. Bland? What do you think would happen? Do you think you'd maybe like start to grow? I want some some feet probably. Well, no, all you can have is Dominican chicken because you really like it. Uh, And that's all you have. I don't know. We have to try it. Do you think maybe you start growing feathers or something? Or uh, (laughs) start frowning? What if you had, you know, Hot I'm fudge Sundays. I'll be a lot better than I already am. <laughs> you think you might start sweating? Hot fudge? <laughs> sweating hot fudge. <laughs> no. The thing is, if you ate hot fudge Sundays for a whole year straight, that's all you ate, and you ate Dominican chicken, you know what? Well, must say, see, you probably die, you know? Need more energy than that. Just like humans need a lot of different uh, nutrients from all different foods we eat. Plants are the same way. And plants have 16 essential nutrients that they have to have in order to grow. So who's excited about memorizing all 16 of those nutrients? Well, I've got something that will help you memorize these 16 nutrients. Does anybody know what a mnemonic is? Yeah. Yeah. No. A little bit different. You know what a mnemonic is, Lisa? Yeah, it's just like a way to remember something using words or... Yeah, just a memory device. But in order for this mnemonic to work, I need you guys to do something. Forget, for tonight only, the rest of the class period, and you can't eat drink. And when we take the test, my name is not Mr. Hawks, okay? It's not. It's not even Dr. Hawks. (laughs) (laughs) My name tonight will be uh, C.B. Hawkins. So if this thing wanted, okay, you're looking at this home. Well, Mr. C.B. Hopkins, I don't quite understand how this is going to help me memorize all 16 of those essential nutrients. Well, here we have carbon, boron, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, potassium, nitrogen, sulfur, calcium, iron, magnesium, <laughs> chlorine, uh, manganese, molybdenum, copper, and zinc. So, do you think this is something you guys can use on the exam to help you remember all 16 of those nutrients? And use mnemonics too when you uh, are studying for your other classes. They're, they're a fantastic way to remember long lists like this. Now, C.B. Hopkins, we now, C.B. Hopkins, we have one prize dish, and that's our pizza. So I brought some to share with you guys today. Okay. I'm going to have to take like three pieces of my pizza. Sorry, it's not real pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you got three pieces? Yeah, yeah so you want to take three? Just three. Oh, uh, Colby, I'll let you take two or so. You put them in my diet? <laughs> no. <laughs> 16 nutrients in there. It all uh, put that. Why don't you take two? And Sid, why don't you take two? Yeah, go ahead and take two. And Brian, why don't you take two? Yeah, have at it. It's good pizza. It's some of the best I've ever seen. I think it's the best in the state. Take two. <laughs> no, wait a second. Lisa, you got a half a pizza. A whole pizza. Yeah, a whole pizza. And Colby only got a half. His pieces are smaller. Sid, yours are bigger too. Yeah. 
Because you like me more. For okay, why isn't everybody who in the... Now we got small pieces too. Huh. Why does everybody with the big pieces stand up? And even though all of these are essential, plants use some of these nutrients more than the other. And uh, these bigger pieces of pizza represent the macronutrients that that plants need. So they, even though they need these smaller pieces just as much in order to grow and, and survive, they use these bigger pieces in, uh, in a greater quantity. And that, right now you're just a barrel. <laughs> There's a guy, a scientist, a German scientist by the name of Justus von Liebig. What Liebig did is he came up with something called the law of the minimum. And what the law of the minimum states is that a plant can only grow as big as that minimum nutrient, so that limiting nutrient. And uh, what he did is he said it's kind of like a barrel. So you guys are a barrel, and you're the wood slats in a barrel. And uh, the nutrients that you're holding represents the nutrients that you have. So if we fill this barrel up with water, how, how high would it go? How high would it go? <laughs> like this high. Not that high. And then what would happen with that water? It'd spill over. It'd spill over. Because what's our, what's our limiting nutrients here? Mm -hmm. Sits high. My God. Well, sits height is what's controlling the nutrients, but it's really deficient in magnesium and sulfur. And sulfur. Now, Colby, oh. can you get down on your knees, Colby? <laughs> what would happen with that water right <laughs> now? It would go out at... We'd be over oh, right now. Magnes. And why is that? Because he's short. Because Colby is now the limiting nutrient, so he limits how much uh, that plant can grow.